Hi, today I'm going to show you how I made a ball mill in order to grind my homemade black powder. So here I have some black powder that I made by mixing 75% of potassium nitrate, 10% of sulfur, and 15% of, of uh, charcoal. And I separately mixed all the ingredients by using a blade mixer but of course uh, you don't want to grind the, the mixture with a blade mixer otherwise it may blow up. So um, when you want to, to grind the, the mixture into a very fine powder you have to use a bowl mill which will grind it softly and hopefully not make it blast. Um, Alright, so now here it hasn't gone yet into the ball mill that I'm going to show you. So I just want to show that without going into the ball mill, it doesn't burn very well. So let me put a little bit here. Alright, so you see it was really hard to set on fire and it doesn't burn very fast. Now let us see the ball mill. So what I'm giving here is just an example of design. Um, you, you have to adapt with whatever you have in your possession. So here I have a um, tapenade drawer. It's relatively small but well that's it works. So uh, that will constitute the drum of the mill. And here I drilled a hole in the, in the cap. And maybe the most difficult part of the job was also to drill a hole at the bottom without breaking the, the glass. So in order to do this, I had to use um, these uh, drill bits. I think it's a diamond drill bit or something like that. Um, well, just look up online, uh, it's very cheap. Uh, you can easily get those bits. And um, yeah, just go very slowly. It, it took me like a half hour in order to drill the hole. I, I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't break the drawer. And then um, here, well, I used this cap and also drill the hole and the purpose of using this is to use it as a soft uh, how can I say that a soft washer that I can put in the bottom of the drawer that allows me to I don't know if I'm explaining this well but that will allow me to um, to softly tighten the screw without breaking the glass. Okay, so let me assemble it, assemble it and then I show you the, the final result. So here is the assembled drum. And um, well, you have to make sure that the holes that you made are sufficiently centered so that it can turn without, um, you know, moving like this. So. Yeah, I guess it's pretty good. Okay. All right. So here uh, on the the plastic washer, I put some uh, resin so that it doesn't get um, worn out by the the milling. You know, the 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 lead balls that I will put in it, they will hit. Uh, constantly this washer and after some time it will be completely destroyed so this resin uh, should help to protect it at least for a while so now um, I just fill up these with uh, lead balls that I got in the fishing section at Walmart so I'm gonna half fill the jar with them with we need to put a lot. Um, yeah, 
basically half filled and then I'm gonna add my black powder in it That's enough for the test. And now uh, here I made a wooden stand. Uh, these here are epoxy plates that are flexible so that I can insert um, this into it. So uh, let's see. I glued some metal washer so that the holes um, in the epoxy don't get worn out by the rotation of the axle and because they are flexible I can insert this like this and like this okay now I'm gonna put here a nut I don't want to tighten this nut because I want this to be able to freely rotate but the nut will serve as a stopper for this screw all right and uh, here I have a standard electric screwdriver but I added a direct plug because I want it to run for a long time. I don't want, and uh, it would uh, quickly run out of battery if, it, if there was not this thing. So I'm gonna, um, I'm using here um, universal power adapter. And by adjusting the voltage, I can adjust the speed of the screwdriver. And, well, as you can see here, there's no battery inside, but just the, it's directly connected to this uh, plug. And I can plug this here. Okay. And now uh, all the magic happens here. This fits perfectly on top of this right so now to turn it on all I have to do is this so hopefully that will work and improve the quality of my black powder let me try and then uh, I'll get back to you so I let the ball mill run for an hour, which is probably not enough, but I uh, was eager to see what would be the result. So let us make a test. Whoa, much better. Remember at the beginning how, how hard it was to set it on fire? And now, wow, this is amazing. Well, I guess we can call it a total success. Thanks for watching. Please share my video.